So at the welterweight division and scheduled for three three-minute rounds, Phoenix full Muay Thai rules, Aziz Khlali of France, Charlie Boy Peters of the UK. Now, the similarity between these two fighters is they've both lost against Sanchai. Uh, Lali at uh, Phoenix 2 in Beirut and uh, at Thai Fight London for Charlie Peters. But Dave, this is going to be a real empty technical fight, isn't it? I mean, it's pure empty. Yeah, this is what I'm expecting. Nice measured start from both guys. Very technical fight. You can see them finding the measure, but it's a three three minute round fight, so I wouldn't expect him to hang around too much. And a very good weight for me, because you get the speed and the power at this weight. Yeah, Charlie Peters looking to bully his man on the ropes there, but the reset in the center of the ring. Ali looking to work that kicking attack now. Question mark kick there on the left hand side. I think he telegraphs his kick a little bit, so Charlie's reading it quite easily at the moment. But he's switching stance, switching his orthodox at the moment, left side forward, but he was switching to southpaw and kicking with his left. Let's see if Charlie was uh, susceptible to the left body kick. And I think this is going to be every bit the technical battle that our last one was the wild shootout. I think you've hit the nail on the head there. These Absolutely. are the technicians. Gunfight at the OK Corral was Ji Wei. But uh, these boys are craftsmen. And um, we're now really seeing the technical element. Uh, interesting fighter, Lali. Calls himself the magician. 93 fights. I mean, that's an impressive record, especially for a 26 year old. It was 93 wins. He's had a over 100 fights, 93 wins. But uh, again, it's about who your opponents are, so it's, I, I don't know who all of his opponents were, but you cannot have that amount of fights and not gain some very valuable experience. Momentarily dropped to the canvas there, was Lali. He's oh, some some good beautiful shots. straight left hand. That kick on the way in there, just stopping Peters in his tracks. Again, a good score in Muay Thai. Both guys kicking really effectively today. There he goes, southpaw again, Halali. Right side forward again, just trying to mix it up and keep Peters guessing. Good little slipsy connection there with the left hand from Peters. Working on the inside well, Peters, without exposing himself. Of course, big high kick went round and, uh, well, Halali saw that one coming way off in the distance. Yeah, Peters just changing the game plan there. You saw him just knocking the outside hand down and stepping to his left when Halali was southpaw. Now he's stepping to the right when he's orthodox. He's just changing. And both fighters are just changing to, to mirror each other. Again, it's a proper chess match here. Leaving the left hook that time was Peters. But the round's over. And a little bit of a nod of acknowledgement to his corner, perhaps, that he's still got a little bit more figuring out to do of Azizi Holly. We see Bianca Gasgon in the crowd here at Phoenix 3. All the stars out tonight. Yeah, the glitterati. This is the action as it happened. Yeah, it's one of Charlie's friends. Yeah, good Fix work it. on the inside from both men here. A nice trip from Charlie Peters. Sends his man crashing to the canvas, but immediately back up was Ali. Yeah, some nice work there. Yeah, flicking from uh, back to Bianca Gascoigne again, coming here supporting Charlie. Um, on the replay there, you saw you saw uh, Halali coming in there with an elbow, then a knee, and just mixing up the techniques well there. Uh, Kieran Kettle in the corner of Charlie Peters. That's uh, some experience there, and he'll have had words. You see a bit of reddening around the nose of Charlie Peters, so he's obviously taken some good shots from Halali in that opening round, and immediately the guys get to work at a much higher pace now. That's the second slip we've seen from Harley. Tries to bring the leg up too quickly and, uh, well, just mistimes it all. Now it's starting to heat up in this second round. 
Yeah, it looks to me like Peters just couldn't completely solve the puzzle of Halali in the first round. And perhaps it would have taken a bit of a pep talk from his corner. D Dave, what do you think the corner was giving to him in terms of advice in that break? I think, again, it's just sticking to your game plan, not getting carried away. Halali seems very explosive, very wild. He's switching stance. He's very hard to work out. But I think Kieran Kettle would have just been telling Charlie just to keep his cool, work him out, stick to the basics. Because when he's landing the basic shots, they're, they're landing well. There you go, one, two. Down the middle, stops his man in his tracks. Yeah, sometimes the fundamentals are the way forward. You tend to forget them the, the higher up you get in the rankings and the higher the skill level is, but fundamentals win fights, whether it's Muay Thai, MMA, boxing. You've never seen a champion boxer without a good jab. Yeah, I totally agree. Basics win fights, basics done properly. And there, uh, Charlie just working, using that low kick below the knee just to take the leg out a little bit, off balance his opponent and stop him from blocking the leg, uh, the body kick that comes after. So halfway through the round and uh, fairly evenly paced, I'd say. Uh, Dave, in terms of scoring, where do you think we are? It's very difficult. That was a good score there from Charlie. Just uh, off balancing his opponent, taking him over the leg and uh, dropping him. Uh, Charlie's box just come loose. Uh, but yeah, I mean, when you're saying about scoring, both fighters are scoring well with kicks and it seems to be back and forth at the moment. Very hard one. Certainly going to be an interesting one for our judges at ringside to pick apart as they get right back down to business. Oh, an attempted uh, <laughs> spinning elbow there. Spinning reverse elbow coming from Halali. Charlie Peters just looking over his shoulder as if to say, I didn't see it. Great connection to the midsection there from Peters. Landed some hench with that shot there. Starting to work really well now, Peters. Halali flailing just a little bit and a little bit frazzly around the edges. But Peters, very solid here. Yeah, as you say, I think he's slowing down a little bit now. Peters just taking the back and knee in. Peters likes this play uh, in the second round here. Faints a head kick. Lali, final 10 seconds. Let's see if Peters can pull something out of the bag. He charges forward, gets tied up though. Are you? Right. And that's the first time we've seen the hint of a decent elbow. Charlie Peters lifts up the hand to try and bring it down. Just a bit scrappy towards the end there, but uh, it was Peters that was trying to level it all out. Yeah, I think Peters is trying to put the pressure on him, and you can see Halali there looking a bit tired in the corner. Uh, both men breathing heavily. This is a taxing fight as we go to the replay here. Yeah, both guys have certainly been uh, putting the work in. It's, uh, it's certainly not been a, a slow pace by any stretch of the imagination. We see a beautiful uh, push down there with the sweep and a nice knee up the middle from Peters. Both guys targeting all the, their opponent's hit points here. Yeah, great throw there by Peters. Just tugging his opponent to the side and over the leg and off balancing him and taking him down to the ground. Good score. Certainly looking very confident going into this third and final frame is the Frenchman. Peter's ready to go in this final round. Touch your gloves, show of respect, and we'll get underway. Good kick there from the Frenchman. So the third and final round, Aziz Halali. Charlie Boy Peters, Phoenix Muay Thai rules. And uh, it's been a very close fought contest up until now. But uh, definitely, there's no confusion amongst us that Peters very firmly in control here. Certainly looking to uh, impose his will here in this third round, and he'll have to. Throws his man to the mat, to the light of the crowd here at the Indigo in London. Yeah, that was a good score there. 
just showing his power and dominance over his opponent, and that's what he needs to do in this round. Someone needs to impose their will to take this win. Everything up for grabs here, and uh, yeah, as you say, guys, someone needs to take the initiative here. So we're seeing Klali now starting to reverse the momentum, trying to bring things up a notch. Yeah, really charged in with that kick up against the ropes there. Nice short combination on the inside, though, from Charlie Peters. Yeah, great knees from Peters there, and a little elbow to start it. Good left cross from Harley, and the elbow starting to come into play here now. So uh, maybe we'll see something decisive happen. I don't think we're going to see a stoppage here, boys. Yeah, I agree. I think Halali is uh, still trying to change stance, move around, but Peter's standing his ground, stalking his man and picking his shots better for me. Yeah, there's not enough heat on these shots to hurt their opponent. But, uh, well, ain't over till it's over. A minute left in this third and final round. And we hear the crowd willing Charlie Peters on. Be interesting to see if he reacts to that at this point and, and goes for broke here in this final frame. Yeah, Charlie's a seasoned professional. So the, the downward elbow onto the top of the head there. A bit more for the crowd than a, than a big scoring technique in Muay Thai. The damage done is minimal normally. Nice right leg kick there. Repeat is a one-two combination to follow up. Lali tries to fire out the jab to no avail. Peters, for me, just looking like the stronger man here in the third and final round. Oh, great right uppercut elbow there. Yeah, Peters barreling ill now. Final 10 seconds, and he really has left his mark on the Frenchman, who's just looking a little bit forlorn in this third frame. Peters raised his hands to the skies, and perhaps with good cause. He certainly was able to put his foot on the gas in that third frame. He looks pretty happy. <laughs> and so does Bianca Gascoigne at ringside here at Phoenix 3 in London. A very happy Charlie Peters there as we take a look back at some of the action from that third round. A nice, powerful kick across the body there from Lali, but he did throw himself off balance a few times, and we see Peters there just taking his man's center out from underneath him. Yeah, great, greatly timed low kick, just kicking the man's legs out and taking him right to the ground. Again, a big score. Yeah, we saw a number of times that final frame. Peters stood looking down at his opponent. Will so he have the, his uh, the president of Phoenix Fighting Championships. Mr. Shehei Yerevanian to make the presentation yet again. Ladies and gentlemen, after three fantastic rounds of Muay Thai action, we go to the judges' scorecards. And we have a unanimous decision in favor of your winner. From the UK, Charlie Peters! Charlie Peters takes the win. Commiserations to Aziz Lali, but it was always going to be Peter's fight here tonight. Absolutely stellar performance. And a very, very technical display there from the fighter from the UK.